Yahya Sinwar is elected leader of Hamas a week after the movement's political chief, Ismail Haniyeh, was assassinated in Tehran. As the top official of Hamas in Gaza, the 62-year-old strongman was already at the heart of power. Now he calls all the shots about peace and war. Sinwa was chosen unanimously, and this shows that the movement is aware of the nature of all the difficulties that it's facing. Negotiations were managed by leadership, and Sinwa was always present. Families of Israeli captives accused Benjamin Netanyahu of trying to derail ceasefire talks by assassinating Haniyeh, who was the top negotiator for the group. Now Israel must deal with Sinwar, a man it imprisoned for over two decades and then released in a prisoner exchange deal in 2011 that Netanyahu signed off on. After that, Sinwar, who grew up in a refugee camp in Khan Yunus, was an unstoppable political actor. A fierce foe for Israel, Sinwar is closer to the military wing of Hamas, yet able to maneuver its multi-layered political ranks and become its leader during a ferocious war. Sinwar is at the top of Israel's hit list, accused of masterminding and leading the October 7 attacks, in which hundreds of fighters breached Israel's borders and captured over 200 Israeli civilians and soldiers. Now he is the lead negotiator in faltering ceasefire talks that regional and international mediators, including the Biden administration, desperately need to succeed. Israel says it will not stop the war on Gaza until it destroys Hamas and kills its prominent leaders. Assassinating Ismail Haniyeh propelled Yahya Sinwar to the helm and the center of attention. Now the whole world has to deal with him to end the war. Nur Al Jazeera, Palestine. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.